Hello, this is Sir Franz. In this video, you're going to learn evaluating functions. Let's start. How to evaluate functions. To evaluate a function, substitute the input, which is the given number or expression, for the function's variable or the placeholder x. It solve for the value of the output. Then perform operations following PEMDAS rule, which means P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponents, M stands M and D, that's uh, multiplication and or, I mean multiplication or division, then addition or sub subtraction. Okay, let's try to have this first example. Evaluating by a number. Given the function f of x, which is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. We are going to find f of negative 1, okay? So go, going back to our definition, substitute the value negative 1 to your variable x. So all the x in your function will turn to negative 1, okay? Okay, let's substitute. So it will now become f of negative 1, which is equal to 2. So your x will turn to negative 1. Quantity squared minus 3, and then your x here will turn to negative 1 minus 3 times the quantity negative 1 plus 1. And what are you going to do next? You are going to perform the operations. Negative 1 squared, that is equal to 1. So we have 2 times 1 plus negative 3 times negative 1, that is positive 3. So that's plus 3 and plus 1. Next, 2 times 1, that is 2, plus 3, 5, plus 1, that's 6. Therefore, our f of negative 1 is equal to 6. Letter B, finding f of negative 1 half. Okay, guys, just the same, follow the same process. Negative one half, you need to substitute that value to your axis in your function. Okay, so this will turn your expression or your, I mean, your equation will turn to f of negative one half is equal to two times the quantity of negative one half quantity squared minus three times the quantity of negative one half plus one. And you perform the operation. Okay, so next we have it here. 2 times uh, negative, the quantity of negative 1 half squared that is basically squaring your numer numerator and your denominator. And since uh, you are squaring a, neg a negative expression, so your expression will turn to positive and then 1 times 1 squared that is 1 and then 2 squared that is 4 for your denominator. So, 2 times the quantity 1 over 4 plus negative 3 times negative 1 half, you get positive 3 over 2. So that's why we have here 3 over 2 and then plus 1. Okay, so perform the operation. 2 times uh, 1 fourth, you get 1 half. Why 1 half? Because 2 times 1, that's 2 over 4 so that's 2 over that's 2 over 4 and then simplify 2 over 4 you get 1 half plus 3 over 2 then plus 1 okay 1 half plus 3 over 2 that is 4 over 2 why 1 plus 3 you get 4 then 2 plus uh, copy the denominator which is 2 okay since we are only operating fractions with the same denominator in this given, plus 1. Then 4 over 2, simplify that, that is simply equal to 2 plus 1. So 2 plus 1, we get 3. Therefore, our f of negative 1 half is equal to 3. Let's try to evaluate another given. So for letter C, 
find f of of square root of 5 okay the same process guys you need to substitute your square root of 5 to your value of x is here okay so your equation will turn into f of the quantity square root of 5 is equal to 2 times the quantity of square root of 5 quantity squared minus 3 times the quantity of square root of 5 plus 1. And then perform the operation. 2 times 5. Sir, why is the answer 5? It's all because uh, the quantity of square root of 5 square, squared, the quantity of, of uh, the square root of 5 squared, that is basically can, uh, the square root here and the square exponent or the, the exponent 2 cancels each other, okay? So that's why it will now turn into 5 because your square root there and your exponent 2 cancels each other. So that's the explanation. Minus 3 times square root of 5, that is 3 square root of 5 plus 1. 2 times 5, you get 10. Copy minus 3 square root of 5 plus 1. And then combine like terms. So you can only combine terms. Uh, you can only combine similar terms. Okay. So as you can see here, this 10 is a 10 is a constant number, and then 1 is also a constant number. So you can combine them. 10 plus 1, you get 11, and then bring down uh, neg minus 3 square root of 5. Sir, why can't I do the operation 10 minus 3, I get 7 square root of 5? No, it's not allowed because if you're going to do that, you are going to violate the uh, basic rule because basically, this you cannot operate this one. So you... Uh, uh, for your f square root of 5, you're going to get a binomial uh, answer, which is 11 minus 3 square root of 5. Therefore, our f uh, of square root of 5 is equal to 11 minus 3 square root of 5. Now, evaluating by an expression. How about uh, we are go? How about given an expression? So you need to substitute the expression to your value of x. So this is the given, the same function, uh, f of x, which is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. Find f of 5x minus 1. Okay, very easy. Again, you are going to substitute the expression 5x minus 1 to your value of x in the function. So your equation will turn into f of the quantity 5x minus 1 is equal to 2 times the quantity of 5x minus 1 quantity squared minus 3 times the quantity of 5x minus 1 plus 1. And then perform the operation. You're going to, to uh, perform first the uh, this given here, which is squared. Five, uh, the quantity of 5x minus 1 squared. So basically, this is squaring or a square of a binomial. So you need to do there is uh, the, squ the square of the first term, so 5x quantity squared, that is 25x squared. And then copy the sign since this is negative. So you copy the middle term will be also negative. So why did you, how did you get 10x, sir? So that's basically 5x times 1, so that is, I know, 5 times 1, that's 5, okay? And then times 2, so you need to times 2, okay, so 5 times 2, you get 10, okay, minus 10x, so you copy there the variable x, plus 1, because negative 1 squared, that is equal to 1, and then you're going to distribute here the negative 3, negative 3 times 5x, you get negative 15x, plus negative 3 times negative 1, so that's plus 3, because negative times negative, you get positive. And lastly, copy plus 1. Then, we still have here a parenthesis, so you need to distribute the 2 to your 25x squared minus 10x and pl uh, plus 1. So basically, you start with 2 times 25x squared, you get 50x squared. 2 times negative 10x, you get uh, negative 20x, and then 2 uh, times 1, so you get there uh, positive 2. Okay, wait. 
Okay, as you can see, I changed it there, the expression. Okay, so two times one, you get positive two. So that's correct. And then you bring down negative 15x, three plus one, that is four. And then you combine like terms. So uh, check the terms here, which has a variable x which, with, with exponent two, so only one, so this one. So you bring down 50x squared. As you can see, we have here 20x and 15, uh, negative 20x and negative 15x, they are similar terms. So you need to combine them. Negative 20x minus 15x, so that's basically equal to negative 35x because 20 plus 15, that is 35 and then copy the x, and then 2 plus 4, you get 6. Therefore, our f of quantity 5x minus 1 is equal to 50x squared minus 35x plus 6. That's your answer. Yeah, it will take you a long process. And if you want to use and calculate a calculator, you are allowed to use a calculator. Okay, evaluating by expression. Okay, I want you to try answering this given, okay? f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. So basically, uh, let's answer together. E, which is f of the quantity square root of x minus 1. So it's an expression here. All you need to do, guys, substitute the expression to your uh, to your x value here in the function, in your equation. Okay, so substituting the square root of x minus 1 to your x here and here, you're going to get this. So your equation will turn into f of quantity square root x minus 1 is equal to 2 times the quantity of square root x minus 1 quantity squared minus 3 times the quantity of the square root of x minus 1 plus 1, okay? And then you perform the operation here, guys. You do it first, uh, the expression with uh, an exponent. So you have your an exponent too. So you're going to check that. So remember the same rule, uh, square root and an exponent two cancels each other. So in this given, uh, you are going to have two times the quantity of x minus one because I explained earlier that the square root and exponent and the exponent two cancels each other. Minus three times the quantity of square root of x minus one plus one. And then you perform the operation again. This in this uh, in this given you're going to substitute you're going to distribute two times x you get two x. Two times negative one, that's negative two. And then when you multiply negative three times the quantity of the square root of x minus one, just simply write the three here. Because you cannot uh, when you do the uh, multiplication, you cannot do it. Negative three times x that's negative 3x, no, you cannot do that, okay? Since 3 is a monomial, and then remember that square root of x minus 1, so the quantity x minus 1 is inside in a square root. So basically, the concept 3 should be placed out, uh, outside the square root. So that's negative 3 square root of x minus 1 plus 1. Okay, next. You uh, combine like terms here, guys. So basically, it will turn into 2x minus 3 square root of x minus 1 minus 1. Sir, why is it, my, one, but why is it negative 1? Because negative 2 plus 1, that is negative 1. Okay, so that explains the negative 1 there. And then you rearrange them. Okay, you start first with 2x and then followed by minus 1. And then lastly, minus 3 square root of x minus 1. Therefore, our f of the square root of x minus 1 is equal to 2x minus 1 minus 3 square root of x minus 1. Okay, let's have the la. Okay, another. Okay, here we go. 
finding f of 1 over x. So the same process, guys. You need to substitute your 1 over x to your uh, x's. So the x value here, or the variable x, will turn into 1 over x. So that's how simple it is. Kinakailangan mo lang palitan yung mga x dito sa given mo into 1 over x. Okay. Now, as you can see here below, I already placed the 1 over x to the to your x, to the variable x. So, f of 1 over x is equal to 2 times the quantity of 1 over x quantity squared minus 3 times 1 over x plus 1. And then perform the operation. As you can see, you have here uh, 1 over x quantity squared. So, you need to, you need to do that first. So, in doing that, square the numerator and then square the denominator. 1 squared, you get 1. x squared, that is x squared. So 2 times the quantity of 1 over x squared minus, so when you multiply that 1, that's basically 3 times 1 over x. So you're going to turn that into 3 over x. That's, that is just the same. Plus 1. Next f of 1 over x is equal to, look at this one, 2 times 1, you get 2, okay? So it will turn out into 2 over x squared minus 3 over x plus 1. So what's the next thing to do? As you can see here, we have denominators, which is x squared minus x, and then the denominator of 1 here is 1 because there is an imaginary denominator for a constant number, which is 1. All you need to do is find their uh, least common denominator, which should be divisible by x squared, and then x, and then the variable, and then your 1 here. So there, our LCD here is x squared. And then x squared divided by x squared, that's 1, times 2, you get 2 x squared divided by x, that is x times negative 3 minus 3x. And then the last one, x divided by uh, 1, you get x squared times 1, that's x squared, okay? So as you can see here, you, are, you get uh, an expression 2 minus 3x plus x squared all over x squared. As you can see, you can separate them, okay? So if your answer is 2 minus 3x plus x squared all over x squared, that's already a correct answer. And then you can still factor them out, okay, by this one. Since this is a quadratic equation, you can have the quantity of x minus 2 times the quantity of x minus 1. That's just the same. The expression quantity x minus 2 and then times the quantity of x minus 1 is just the same with 2 minus 3x plus x squared. Or if you're going to rearrange that, that is, that is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2. Okay? And then the denominator, just copy, which is x squared. So for our answer there, therefore, our f of uh, 1 over x is equal to the quantity of x minus 2 times the quantity of x minus 1 all over x squared. That's our answer. And that ends our lesson for this video. Thank you so much for listening, guys. And if you have further questions, I am going to post also the PowerPoint presentation to you. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for listening and watching to this video. See you.